At the peak of the pandemic, Vanderbilt's HIV vaccine trials unit had to shift its attention to help create a COVID vaccine. With that accomplished, the experts hope to use what they've learned these past few years to finally produce an effective HIV vaccine. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs tells us how they need the public's help. Um, because of the, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. In 1991, NBA player Magic Johnson made this famous announcement. And more than 30 years later, the fight continues to find a cure for HIV. But there's a lot more hope, and COVID actually helped. We've learned a lot of things from the COVID pandemic. Many COVID health restrictions have loosened since the rollout of the coronavirus vaccines. Infectious disease doctor Sparrow Columns was one of many researchers behind the development of the shots. We're still very happy with the results and, and showing the efficacy of a, of a coronavirus vaccine uh, was great. But of course, we still don't have an HIV vaccine, so we are continuing to work in that. Since 1987, Vanderbilt University School of Medicine has joined other research sites around the country in search for a vaccine to help prevent HIV. And one of the things that COVID has taught us is that when you really need to step up and do things rapidly and safely, we can do it. It kind of changed our expectations on how quickly we can get these trials going. Vanderbilt's HIV vaccine clinical research site is holding several clinical trials and efforts to prevent the spread of this virus. We're at the stage now where some of these mRNA vaccines have been designed for HIV. Dr. Callum says in this lab, researchers are working every day to get the world a step closer to an HIV vaccine. And if those antibodies that people make are able to inhibit HIV in a test tube, can they prevent the virus in a tube from infecting other cells? That's a great first start. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Kelsey, thanks. Vanderbilt is now looking for healthy, uninfected people between the ages of 18 and 50, both genders, all ethnic and, ethnic and racial backgrounds, to help with this vaccine trial.